temperatures tonight are going to plunge so i thought i would just pop on because you're probably worried about two things one how much should you be opening your greenhouse and two are your plants going to be all right as far as ventilating and open your greenhouse is concerned i would open it up on every sunny day the smaller the greenhouse the more the um, swings in temperature are going to impact it so this is a big greenhouse it's only 15 degrees in here at the moment with the door shut i have now opened the door and i will leave it open for a couple of hours i always tend to close my greenhouse at this time of the year about three o'clock because you can just feel the change in the temperature the sun starts to go down so i want to basically trap any heat that's left in the day inside the greenhouse for overnight. A good way to keep an eye on your greenhouse temperature is to get yourself a minimum maximum thermometer. I'll give you a close up in a second. That way you can monitor what the temperature is when you're not there. Now make sure that you never lie it flat in direct sunlight because <laughs> <laughs> it will give you a false reading. You want the temperature in the shade, not the temperature directly in the sun. And you'll probably break your thermometer if you did that as well. Okay, so I've turned you around and can you see, it was 15, it's 16 now. That's probably my body heat. I am getting cold. I think I've given it away to the plants. So it's 16.2 at the moment. The sun is blazing and it is 11.37. So we're heading to midday and you can see the coldest it got last night was 0 0.2. So we are getting very chilly indeed. I've just switched this over to Fahrenheit. So anybody that's working in Fahrenheit, I don't understand Fahrenheit unless it's, we switch when it gets really hot. British tend to be very dramatic. So we use Celsius until it gets like really hot. And then we switch to Fahrenheit and suddenly it's 110 degrees. <laughs> of course, in the winter, we would never do that because we need it to be minus 10. Right, there's your thermometer. I'm going to be here all winter. So if we get some really cold Baltic temperatures, I'll be here with you. Those of you who've been following for a while, we've done this many years around the block. So the next thing you're probably worried about is your plants. If I swing around, you can see behind me, I don't have any covers on them whatsoever. So the important thing is the plants have been growing for a while. So this is not going to be a big shock to them. The temperatures, especially overnight, have been dropping slowly. So they have been acclimatizing slowly and they have the frost protection. So no frost is actually going to touch them because they have the protection of the greenhouse over the top. If it gets very cold, we might put some hats on the snapdragons and some horticultural fleece on the ranunculus but i'm not going to be doing that yet it's not necessary yet and what i'll do is i'll quickly run some videos from last winter when it was particularly cold i think it was about minus seven i'll run some videos for you now so you can see how happy they are and what we did and hopefully that will put your mind at rest well that has been the coldest night for a long time hopefully this cold snap is almost over <laughs> i've pulled the big guns out today yeah, just in case you're wondering, it was minus 4.1 in the greenhouse. So by keeping the greenhouse shut, because it's a big one, it traps the heat and stops it getting quite as cold as it would do outside. I thought that you might like just a little bit of reassurance and a look around my greenhouse so you can compare it to yours. These are my sweet peas and the compost in the pots is absolutely frozen solid. Just leave them alone. Don't fiddle with them too much. The, as soon as the sun comes out, they'll start to thaw out. These are already looking a hell of a lot better than they were an hour ago. Quick look at the Renux. I'm leaving the frost cloth in place because that's going to trap any heat that comes off the sun today. The compost again is frozen solid, so there's no point in watering them. So they're not going to take up frozen water, but they're absolutely fine. If yours are looking a little bit sad, they should perk up later but to say don't fiddle with them leave them alone to get on with it a quick look at the snaps they're fine they might look a little bit sad just until they thaw out a little bit as i say i'm gonna it's still cold in here so i'm gonna leave the hats on and leave these be we've got another couple of days of very cold temperatures still to come can i show you this is the ami magus <laughs> it's fine absolutely glorious and this is going to be towering above our heads in just mere months. Brazer Maxima, absolutely fine. Cornflowers at the back there, rocking and rolling. So hopefully that has put your mind at rest. Uh, don't unzip your zippy and take everything out to check. 
um, just leave it tucked up. I thought if I show you mine, that will reassure you and then you can just leave them be. Rather than crouch in the cold, I've just bought a couple of trays of, or layer, <laughs> to show you. See, it's ice cubes, absolutely frozen solid, but you can trust your Auntie Zoe. These are fine down to more than minus 20 degrees. So they, they don't even look upset, do they? Is that the best you can do, weather? That's what they're saying. Hopefully you found those videos helpful and it was also a good glimpse into the future to see that your plants will continue to grow, albeit slowly, throughout the winter. Now, one last thing that you could do if you wanted to, if you wanted to feel like you were helping your plants in some way, is you could just make sure that you move them away from the glass or the plastic so they're not actually touching the glass. Two things can happen. One, if they've got their leaves constantly pressed against the plastic, they could find that the leaves just get wet and they rot. And number two, if there is going to be any frost damage, then that's how it will happen. It will go through the plastic and touch the leaves. So just move them away from the plastic or the glass if you can. Um, and you can always put a bit of horticultural fleece, fleece as a barrier. But if your plants are good, strong and healthy and one leaf gets damaged, that's not really going to hurt them too much.